Hi dear students in MMW, welcome to the final term. Our first module for the final term is all about the mathematics of graphs. The Bridges of Conic Learns Leonard Euler was intrigued by an old problem regarding the town of Konigsberg near the Baltic Sea. The river Prego divides Konigsberg into four separate parts, which are connected by seven bridges. The question is, is it possible to walk around the city crossing all of the bridges exactly once, but not more than once? This is a famous uh, math problem before, the Seven Bridges of Konigsberg. In the early 18th century, the Pregel River in a city called Konigsberg, located in modern-day Russia and now called Kaliningrad, surrounded an island before splitting in two. Seven bridges crossed the river and connected four different land areas, similar to the map below. Many citizens of the time attempted to take a stroll that would lead them across its bridge and return them to the starting point without traversing the same bridge twice. None of them could do it, no matter where they chose to start. Try it for yourself with a pencil and paper. You will see that it is not easy. Okay, so may I give you maybe a minute or two? Please try answering this problem. So is it possible to take such a stroll or just difficult? In 1736, the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler proved that it is in fact impossible to walk such a path. This analysis of the challenge laid the groundwork for a branch of mathematics known as graph theory. So in this module, we will investigate how Euler approached the problem problem of the seven bridges of Konigsberg. But we have to know first who is Leonard Euler. So Euler was one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. His work spans all areas of mathematics and he wrote 80 volumes of research. Euler was born in Switzerland and studied in Basel but lived most of his life in Berlin, Prussia, and St. Petersburg, Russia. Euler invented much of the modern mathematical, mathematical terminology and notation and made important discoveries in calculus, analysis, graph theory, physics, astronomy, and many other topics. This one is a similar problem in graph theory uh, this one is actually uploaded in one of the social media. So can you draw the impossible envelope? Drawing this envelope without, so we have here the some conditions, lifting your pen from the paper, crossing any of your own lines, and tracing over another line. That problem or that game is known as universal tracing. So the goal is to trace the drawing or the graph or the figure without lifting your pen or retracing any of the lines. So you have to pass through the lines only once. We call this universal tracing. So you may start at any point and trace the line without lifting your pen. Okay, can you do it for letter A or letter B? You may try it in your um, paper or note.
Every day, we are surrounded by countless connections and networks, roads and rail tracks, phone lines, the internet, electronic circuits, and even molecular bands. There are even social networks between friends and families. Can you think of any other examples? In mathematics, all these examples can be represented as graphs. A graph is a collection of vertices connected by edges. This definition is different from the definition of the term graph in the field of algebra, such as the graph of a function. So this branch of mathematics is, is called graph theory. It is a study of graphs and their properties. It is one of the most exciting and visual areas of mathematics and has countless important applications. Applications. Okay, so that's all for the introduction of this module. For the next video, we're going to learn the different basic terms in the field of graph theory. Thank you. Bye.